Hey everybody, it's Michael here from GoodyReader.com. We're at SID Display Week 2013 and we're here at the e-ink booth looking at the Pocketbook Touch Lux. So this is new. It has, actually it hasn't even hit the market yet, but of course we're here at Goody Reader, we're giving you an exclusive. You can see that it has physical keys, but it also is a touch screen device as well. Home, back, forward, and options. So this options will bring different things depending on what screen that you're on. Um, it's fairly light. Um, obviously it's not the 13 inch Sony e-reader which is lays a feather but you can see that has a cool slanted design obviously the batteries somewhere right over here you can see the back nothing really kind of going on but this is kind of exciting that it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack micro USB hard reset so it becomes unresponsive just stick a pin in there a micro SD so you can expand your memory I believe it's up to about 32 gigs and power slash standby. So this is a front lit display, which means that there's a, you can see sort of LEDs originating here, which allow you to adjust the brightness. And if you max it out, you can see that most e-readers kind of give you that bluish interface. But if you find that sweet spot, it's light, but it's not overpowering. Okay. Let's click on a book. So obviously this is in Russian, but it's not necessarily the language that we're concerned with. It's like, how, how does the e-reading e experience perform well? You can tap in the center there like you do most things. Tells you some details here, your read rate. So it's very Kobo in the way that they do their reading life, but you could do the sharing, the liking, how have you read, I don't know what this is happening here, but it's kind of humorous. But it's called your read rate. So there is some kind of some new things being introduced here. You could rotate it into landscape or portrait mode. You could look words up in the dictionary. You could write notes. Let's take a look at the settings here. So you can change this on the fly here, or you can do it in the master settings here. So you have Deja Vu Sands, but you have like a lot of font options here. Looks like about 20 or so. Mainly just open source, right? But you can increase, you know, the bold and the size of the font. You can also do page margins, which is kind of cool. And line spacing. So this is really no shortage of options to appeal to really advanced users. You know, users that read our publication, visit the mobile read forums and so on. People that are really concerned with hev heavily augmenting their reading experience by having a lot of advanced options. But this isn't going to scare away like your, your average user that just basically wants to read books. But I have noticed that it is kind of unresponsive. So let's uh, open up the book again. Do to do. Okay. If you hold your hand here, you can kind of get that kind of scroll bar. So you can highlight words. You can look those up in the dictionary here. You can look the word up in Google. You can actually take a note. So this is a good time to show you the keyboard. It's a full uh, QWERTY keyboard. I like I like keyboards that have the alphanumeric layout where you don't actually have to hit a, a function key to get this. I, I do prefer keyboards because increasingly, if you are sharing with Google, if you are sharing with Facebook, liking and this and that, uh, most passwords a mix of uppercase, lowercase, and uh, numbers. So I do dig this keyboard. So you could have a thing here. Well, I tried to spell my name, but it's on an angle. So there you go. So this is the Pocketbook Touch Lux. It's going to be available very soon via Shopee Readers as well as the main Pocketbook website. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. Everybody take care.